Hello, and welcome back to Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. We are in the Chucklehook Woods, making our way towards the fabled Chocola Cola. And I guess it's this way, according to this nice man. Um... So yeah, last time we were here I was fighting, like, all the enemies. I don't know that I'm going to continue to do that, just because it can get repetitive. Um, although at some point, I may have to just play the game on the side by myself, uh, and just grind a bit, which is not a big issue. But if, like, you come back one day and I'm suddenly level a million, then I probably was just grinding a bit. Don't worry about that. I don't even know if I'll need to do that. I'm not sure if just, like, when I play the game by myself or whatever, just for fun, if I over-level or what, but, yeah, it doesn't really matter. It may or may not happen, and we'll see as we get there. But for now, let's continue on. And I have a, oh gosh, I have enough not to play this in, like, five days or something, so I will be struggling with the controls, because I didn't even, I definitely didn't have them figured out yet. And now, it is all for it. So, just when we thought things were starting to get better. I can't remember if there's... Secret box? Yeah, maybe not. Okay. I really, really, really like this section of the game. This is one of my favorite parts. I don't know why. I guess, just, it's the introduction of this fun little mechanic. And, um... Oh gosh. I just like it. It's like a nice, calming, but at the same time a little bit spooky sort of woods. I don't really know. I just enjoy it. By bubbles. You need to tunnel from below to get to the heart of a man. That's a bit um, odd. Sounds a bit sociopathic, even. Oh, oh, oh. revenge is sweet, and Chocola Cola is sweeter. There was another path to go, and I'm starting to think this is the official way to go. We're going to check out what was over there real quick. Real quick, like. a safe station. Refreshing herbs, some money, and one of mushrooms. Is this the guy we gotta slap in the face with the hammer? Oh no. We gotta hit him with something different much later in the game. Alright. I'm glad we went back for that. It wasn't a lot, but now it's off my mind, and you know, every little bit helps. Oh gosh. I think what really helps most in this game is good timing. Which I absolutely botched right there. Just don't go for Luigi, please. Uh oh. Hmm. And I've forgotten the inputs for this. Couldn't remember if those guys technically counted as spiky. Alright. Oh jeez. This game's rough if you take a break for a while and forget all the timings, because I think I said it either in the last video or just a couple before that. Like, you really get punished for messing up. So if you are consistently not making good choices in terms of when you dodge and all that stuff, you're going to burn through your mushrooms and all that stuff super quick. Of course, then saying that, there's a huge item room right here. In a lot of RPG games, I don't worry too much about money, because it doesn't seem like the gear you can buy is nearly as good as the gear you can find. That doesn't really seem like the case in this game. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, pretty sure the stuff you buy is, like, really good compared to the stuff you find. 
Or at least the stuff you find is, like, so few and far between that it's not a reliable source of equipping your people. Not that you have a ton of people to equip. Oh, he's technically out of bounds. Remember that attack. I guess we'll just go after these spiky guys, because they could probably do a lot more damage while they're spiky compared to when they're beans. Oh, looked like he went down. And when they're beans, you can actually damage them on the counter. Yep, just like that. I mean, sometimes these guys do an attack where you can hit them with the hammer, but I suck at that, let's be honest. I'm pretty bad at hammer defenses, generally. And I would say I should practice, but I mean, I don't know, I feel like the amount of time I'd have to put in to get good at it is like the length of the game. Yeah. And since I'm not like just, oh man, I should start playing. Like when I first owned the game, it was probably worth it to get good at that kind of stuff again, because I was going to be playing the game all the time, but right now I'm just playing through it for fun, so I don't really know that I need to be absolutely masterful. I obviously don't want to do horrible at the same time. I don't know. I guess the moral of the story is, as long as you don't get absolutely trashed by enemies with hammer defenses, as long as we can make our way through, I think everything will be okay. I waited too long on that hammer right there. I waited too long on that jump. I prefer the jump attack over the hammer attack when you can. I think it not only does more damage, but it's definitely more consistent. I'm not sure what those dotted lines mean, like, from this room in the center of the map up to this save album. There's like this little dotted bridge. I don't know what that means. Well, I believe the map said that this way is just a small... That's untrue. Let's go check back. Does that respawn the enemies? No. Okay. Let's go find out what's over here. I wonder if I can... might be able to spin jump down onto this guy. Oh my gosh. And Luigi might be about to get ravaged. Okay, so if they jump before they approach you, they're going to charge. And if they don't, then they're just going to try to swoop you. Oops. Too soon. Wow. Very powerful. Dang it! <laughs> oh, my timing is just ever so slightly off, but that's okay. Oh, I thought Luigi was about to get ravaged by this guy, but he just, like, flew up. Perfectly fine with me. I'll take whatever I can get. I could be using my hammer techniques, like the new bros special moves that I oops, unlocked to um, try to figure out the advanced versions, but I don't know, I guess I just don't want to use the bro points right now, which, I mean, we could probably afford, but eh, I don't know. No need to get overly fancy with super basic enemies. hit start? No, we can't separate ourselves yet. Oh wait, what if... 
<laughs> okay, so your spin jump turns into hoo 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 hoo, which is jump upon barrel. <laughs> they have like different sounds for jumping up on it and jumping down from it. Okay, here we go. I'm just checking the ground for these little X spots where we can get chuckle beans. Yeah, chuckle beans. I don't remember which, like, stat potion those are used for later, but I, I do remember that they're very good, and you need a bunch of them. Oh, this guy. These are two directions. Is the third one back through that cave? Um. Yeah, let's go check out that cave. I really hate leaving loose ends like that. It drives me crazy. It's just always on the back of my mind. Oh, and I can't. <laughs> okay. Well, that solves that mystery. I guess if we go this way, it'll dump us. I think that might be the end to that area. Might dump us out over there. Yeah. I saw your game before you started dropping off the trees, like your creepy walnuts. Yes, Satan acorns with your faces. Creepy, smiling, bean plant faces. Whoa! <gasps> it's a super money guy! And yeah, he runs. <laughs> he immediately runs on his next turn, but if you kill him, he's either worth a ton of money or a ton of experience or both. Oops. Sorry, Luigi. Aha! I should keep hammering people. Aha! <laughs> I'm always just slightly early, or just slightly too late. I almost said too soon. Those are synonyms. Synonymous with failure. There's a bunch of fours in there. Three is great. Looks like our health is pretty fine. We should give Mario more health. My goodness, we should give Mario more health. I mean, I know Luigi just leveled up, but goodness gracious, he has like eight more. And he might be wearing better pants, but still. Up until the point when you start unlocking different gear, like, Mario and Luigi both have, um, like, armor that the other one can't wear, and they have widely varying stats, like, up until that point when you start putting those armors on your people, it's pretty easy, pretty fairly easy to keep their stats about the same, but then it starts getting really complicated. Like, right now I'm like, oh geez, Mario doesn't have any health, we need to upgrade his health a bunch. Oh, whoa, a four, nice. First one of the series. Um, so then I'll start upgrading his health, but then I'll get some better pants for him, and then he'll have, like, 11 more health than Luigi and stuff, so... Trying to keep him balanced is sort of tough after a certain point, which we're coming up on it really close. But, I mean, as long as... They don't have to be the same. As long as they're both good, then you're good, so... Yeah. yeah. Moral of the story is, it's just another thing that drives me crazy, like loose ends... Nice. 
I don't know if you get better rewards from fights if you do better. Like, in that fight we didn't take any damage, and we basically killed them as fast as possible, and we got, like, blue beans. Oh look, there's a Luigi. We got blue beans and a mushroom. I don't know if we've been getting rewards like that the whole time. I also kind of just like this section of the game where you have a lot of little tasks you do that are split up. Um, but, like, each person has a job. It just feels efficient to kind of teleport from person to person. And then, like, do one thing and then teleport back. Chuckle beans! Always a pleasure. Oh look, the white chocola fruit. My gosh. I'm letting us down. Okay. Hmm. Can short Louis Mario make... No, you can't switch when you're short, can you? Nope. Okay, so let's put Mario here. Ooh. Oh goodness, excuse me guys. So Yanni, it was daylight savings recently. I'm a little messed up from that, but not too bad. Not as bad as some people, goodness gracious. Oops. You'll have to excuse me if I yawn from time to time. Oh, we got it! They look so peaceful. I'm unsure what that button is for. Hmm. I wonder how we get in that cave then. Maybe off to the left? Where we came? Oh, look up. I didn't even see this. I don't know how many chuckle beans up there are in the game, or if it's like. You really need to get all of them in order to make, like, a reasonable number of potions. Not exactly sure what the case is with the chuckle fruits. Or chuckle beans. But I can tell you this, I definitely don't know where they all are. I'm really bad at jumping over these fuzzies. I think they're called fuzzies. They were called fuzzies in Thousand Year Door. They're one of my favorite Mario enemies. They only appear to... They really only seem to show up in the RPG games. I can't remember if they're in Legend of the Seven Stars. That game was long. Long and hard and fun and difficult and confusing. Also, it's one of my favorite video game characters of all time, Geno. He's like a, an action figure. And then, like, a star spirit comes down after hearing about all the craziness that's going on with Smithy, which is the main enemy of the game and like all the distress with stars like the star spirit comes down and um, enters into this action figure and powers him up but he's like a blue wizardy type puppet looking thing and he like can shoot off his wrists he's got like rocket hands and magic laser beams and stuff he's really cool I didn't make him sound very cool but I tell you what he's super cool this is just chuckle bean central goodness gracious I wonder if Legend of Seven Stars is on the virtual, the Wii Virtual Console. Would totally like to get that and play it. I'm hoping to get a capture card around sometime, like in the next few weeks, potentially. That'd be really nice. There's a lot of good games for the Super Nintendo available on the Wii U. And then it's HDMI, so with the capture card it's easy enough to just set up records on that stuff. 
I could put out some fun videos for y'all. Which I think would be really enjoyable. Oh dang. Not to mention, like, any Wii U games I have. Whoa! That people would be interested in seeing. Oh, we called him backup? I forget if that always happens. If I kill them at the same time. If that's the case, then probably should yeah, let's jump on this guy. Can that other guy call him back up twice? Might only be able to call him back up once. Gosh, <laughs> I keep failing with Mario. Refreshing herbs cures poison, and I seem to remember poison being very frustrating, but I also don't remember like if there if what enemies in this area can poison you, or if there are any any enemies in this area that can poison you. Alright, I'm gonna use some, some special abilities here. Did that start out by doing like 20? Okay, this is level one. So that's BBA. I was not paying attention when he started his attack. The advanced versions of those get very difficult to pull off properly, but if you do, you can like infinitely loop them. And eventually, the timings become incredibly tight. Like, the window to hit it is very, very small. And the damage is like one per successful iteration, but. I mean, you can do it forever. So. Mm, eh, maybe. Let's, tr let's, let's just keep using them. Why not? Not sure if knockback bros. Actually. There we go. Okay, yeah. You can hit spiky stuff. I don't know why I wasn't using them. I didn't really have a good reason, other than I could beat the enemies without it. But I mean, when you first get an ability, it's probably smart to use it on basic enemies as much as possible to unlock the advance before you get to any bosses where you might potentially want it. Oh, this guy's getting knocked back, bro. Ooh, that was pure luck. And we obviously are in a new area, so we will have bosses coming up. Oh crap. <laughs> I accidentally bumped the key a little early. I'm pretty sure if you fail like that, you don't get any um, progress towards unlocking the advanced mode, so that's what's really unfortunate about it. Spike Badge? Does that let you jump on spiked enemies? It might let you jump on spiked enemies for significantly higher damage, if I remember properly. Is that a 5 in there? A couple times I've been like, oh, there was a 5, and I like, said it super confidently. I went back and watched the video, I'm like, no, that's, that's, that was not a 5. But, I mean, that was like the second episode or something? I think we might be getting close enough to the point where we could potentially find some. Jump for two times damage on spiked creatures. Oh yeah. We're definitely gonna want that. I mean, two times damage is ridiculous. Like, if we had that for Queen Bean, and like her spiky hat, we could we could have destroyed her. So, do we want to put that on Mario? We probably should. His... His jump attack does more damage. Oh. Who is this? Cute little tree! Oops.
Okay, yeah, so that's why they teach you about the bean stuff. But since I've already played this game like a thousand times, I've got a head start on collecting them. And yeah, chuckle beans aren't too horribly rare, but it's always good to have as many as you possibly can because you can literally not have too many. There's no inventory space in this game. It just... Oh, I guess it can go up to 99. I wonder if there's even 99 of those beans in this game. Can we high jump out of here? It looks like... Yeah, okay. So are we trapped down here? Oh gosh. I spy a bean! Well, I'm sure there will be no consequences for our actions. Oh yeah, I forgot about this mini-boss. I mean, what is this? Yeah, let's use some let's use some special attacks right in the face. That might have made it angrier. Whoa! Oh goodness. Oh, double goodness. It's got that deep hatred for mine. Oh, you know what? Yep. Ah, I'm sorry, Luigi. Oh! I guess if you bounce on its head, the whole thing turns purple again? Sorry, Luigi! Yeah. I guess we wasted... We wasted a few, um... Yeah, bro attacks right at the start. Ah, I really want to give Mario this mushroom and potentially get two shots off on this guy. You know, let's just do it right now. I'm not sure if it automatically reds up again. Maybe not if we just take a hit like that. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, whoa! Goodness gracious, get melted. That was easier than I remember. Goodness, my goodness. I think we, we did throw points last time, didn't we? I'm not sure. That might be why we got a 1 there, or had really bad options. I'm sorry, madam! I always imagined you were a lady because of your, I guess, your boots seem stylish? And your, and your flower hat? Well, that's two out of three Chocola fruits down in one video, so I think we're going to call that a wrap for this one, and um, I'll see you all very soon. We'll be getting the next piece of fruit, and continue onward with our journey. See you soon.